Good morning YouTube. Um, it's another dull cold day here in New Zealand. So I thought I'd do a little update indoors. I haven't done one for a while so um, let's go and have a look at the orchids. So not just orchids, we'll have a quick look at the indoor plants as well. So what we got up here, we got the ponytail palm doing very well. Um, that I've had that one some years and he's getting bigger and bigger every year. So that's great. Um, this is that hippie astrum, um, which is the uh, the really big stripy one. And um, so the bulb's doing well. Um, so I'm going to stop watering it now um, because I want this green foliage to die back. So I've, I've given it a really good feed this summer. Um, so hopefully that should produce a flower next year. And this is just a... Well, it's just is a weedish really. I mean, it's not very exciting, but it's it's broken off several times. <laughs> Come back, and now I've just got this really long bit there, and this really long bit along here, which I've just trailed down the stand. <laughs> the stand goes all the way down there, and it is that. Hopefully, you can read that. There you go. So. Look, it looks like on the picture, well, hello, mine doesn't look like that. But anyway, I think if I kept pinching it out, it would. But that's okay. We'll let it go as it is there. Oh, I've just dropped the um, the label. Never mind. Um, this is a cutting, um, a couple of leaves that my friend gave me from her plant. Um, beautiful leaves. I love them. Um, so really unusual and I've put them in here and I can see I've got a couple of um, couple of things coming up here and there so they seem to be seem to be okay so hopefully that'll take and uh, I'll get a plant of that um, this terrarium still doing okay still growing away and down here it's just um, I think that's called a quarter line and then I've got a green one of those and a red one of those. And then down the bottom, Rick, if you're watching, this is my staghorn. Look how big it is. <laughs> it's actually potted up. Um, so I'm thinking about, um, you know, I got it potted up. So it says you can pot them, um, but I may well mount that because um, I don't think it's too happy down there. It is sort of getting in. This is the darker corner of the room. Um so I may well um, look at maybe mounting that one. So on the table here, the Goosefoot's doing exceptional. Fantastic plant. Devil's Ivy, getting the odd yellow leaf on that one, but overall it's doing all right. Um, this Cycleman's going over now. That one there, I'm not 100% sure what that is. Let's have a look. Make a mess. Oh, it's a Pila. Pia. Pelia whatever anyway so that's that and these three succulents are doing well but these two are going over and the pink one's looking great so the table here i've still got uh the um oh god the name's gone out of my head i should remember this shouldn't i Anyway, it'll come to me in a minute, but I've got that one's doing well, and some other plants, and the uh, rabbit's foot or hare's foot fern is doing well. Really likes it there. Got another little goose foot here that I've bought back from the brink. Um, yeah, so not an exceptional plant, but it's doing all right. So on this table, I've got a bit of variety. My little terrarium's doing all right the orchid in the middle is um doing all right it's not doing bad it's got something happening down the middle there i think Make it down the middle no it hasn't so but it's it's you know it hasn't died and the little mini goose foot there's doing okay and the baby's tears i bought this uh, begonia rex they were reduced um to eight dollars so I thought, oh well, because they're normally 16 or 20, so I got that one as a reduced one, and I've got this one as a reduced one, so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to bring those through, and I will not be putting them in the orchid house this year. The three that I've got out there did survive through the summer, so I'm taking that as a you know good sign that they those three will be fine, 
but the others, sort of the red varieties, I found didn't like it out there in the summer. It was way too hot, and I should have realised, but anyway, never mind. Um, this is a new plant. Um, this is, oh, we used to call this, I think it was an umbrella plant. Well, I can't remember now. I'm sure it was an umbrella plant, as it's, but that's what it is. So I'm hoping this is going to grow into quite a big specimen because I had a big specimen of this in the UK and it done really, really well. So hopefully that will do well as well. And all that, I've got an empty pot. So I've got to get another plant. But this pot, I like this pot. It was only $3. It didn't have a, um, a saucer, but, you know, for $3, a sort of crackle glazed look. I thought that's quite nice. So, and these were only three dollars. These these ones here, the green ones, but they did have a saucer attached. But this one's bigger. Um. So yeah. Anyway, enough of pots. Right, orchid stand. Let's. Hopefully, you can see. I've had to draw the nets back because it's not like I say it's a dull day. So this one, beautiful, really lasting well. That one, really really like that one. Um. Gorgeous, gorgeous, soft pink with the uh, pink veining. So it's doing okay. All the others are all right up there. Um, this one at the very top, just going over now, but that one is virtually flowered all year from last spring. So I really can't complain about that. Um, just got a few flowers on the end. And I do believe... I think it's extending, but I may well cut that one back so it can have a little bit of a rest. Um, down below, I've got nothing growing on this bit here. This one's coming out the middle, um, but it's growing, you know, a spike there. I'm just going to wait and see what happens. Further along, these are, looks like they're going to re-spike back there, so I'm leaving those. This one is not a very good picture, I'm sorry with the background. This one's doing okay, this little mini, happy with that one. Um, got a kiki on this one, my first kiki, you can see that. So I'm pleased with that. Um, finally, the big white fowl is flowered that's a really big one and um it looks like it's got a pinky tinge i don't know whether it's because of the background light but it is actually white and i've had to support it with this wire because it's quite a heavy stem it's coming all the way from back that one and it's going all the way along and going down so i didn't want it to snap because i haven't got it supported with anything else so i've just supported it with a bit of wire um, so that's that one up above. We've got that one looks like it's extended in places, so I'll leave that. I've got this little stripy mini one here, which is doing all right. It's got a, had a few bud blasts on it, but I'm putting that down to the log burner because I've had to put that on. Yeah, so they're doing all right. Down below, let's have a look. We've just got some houseplants. And then down below that, I've got the um, Pathopediums there. So hopefully they'll do all right. And then next to it, I've got the uh, Miltonias. I brought the Miltonias in from the uh, Orchid House because I believe last year I lost all of them. I had three and I lost them. And I think it really did get too cold, even though they're cool growers, even that, you know, is too cold you know my conditions are too cold for that so i didn't want to risk it so i've put them down low on the floor with the other ones just to see you know because it doesn't get really hot in this room even though the log burners down the other end it it stays okay down this room um so yeah and i've put them on the uh the humidity trays because i do want to keep the humidity up as best i can with the log burner coming on um, finally, I've got some action happening with um, the baby fowls that I've had for a while. Nothing was happening with them. They've had two bouts of, um, not scale, what's that, woolly aphid I call it, but it's, I think it's mealybugs. 
um, two bouts of mealybugs and um, I think I might have lost this one at the back here right at the back just got one little mini flower on it I'm sorry leaf on it but the others seem to be picking up they're all growing leaves and they're doing okay so I'm really hoping they've turned the corner now and um, they're going to be much better I've got my in here in this little case all on its own um, which seems to be if I can get it open come on open there you go um, doing exceptional this one I'm really pleased with this one and that is oops <laughs> that was clever wasn't it a puff Roth's chili and cross with whatever that says I need to do a better label actually so but that one's doing very well very very pleased with that one it seems to really like its little mini environment in here um, I keep the humidity up really well with it and uh, yeah it seems very happy so I'm not going to move that out of there it can stay in there and then as you know I lost all my babies that I deflask didn't know anything about it had a go made a right mass mess of it but these babies are ones that I've bought from one of the guys in our society um, Willie's called Chinese guy brilliant at growing orchids and he gets a lot of babies so these are the ones that I've managed to keep going um, but I've lost a few I'm not going to get any more babies I'll see how I do with these and if I can be successful with these especially through our winter then, you know, I may consider buying some more babies maybe a bit further down the line. But for now, um, no, that's it. So this little corner here is um, just got the uh, peace lily and the spider plant and a couple of coleus, which I've had a while, on the side. I got this little stand the other day selling off, which I thought was quite nice. So I've put the Hoya on there which is doing nicely and I've got just um, a prayer plant and a couple of other house plants on there so they look okay so I've come outside it's easier to film these from out here so it won't be too long because the doors are open so just um, obviously the big uh, oh god hippie astrum there um, Amaryllis is going to, I'm just not going to water that anymore and hopefully that will die back. If it doesn't, then I'll chomp it like I did last year and to get some flowers. Snake plant, um, yeah, so it's all doing all right over here. A few plants down there. This is my, um, what's left of my begonias that didn't like it in the sun. And they seem to be recovering, you know, I've got that one there, I've brought in the house. Not sure if anything's happening with that one, I think that could well be dead. This one's got a couple of little bits coming and the other one back there. So I'm hoping they'll recover where I've brought them back in the house, um, but who knows. And of course this one here, um, that one, the silvery leaf seems to be recovering. And also this one back here, although that leaf looks a bit sick there, but you know, I'm hoping they'll recover so yeah and I got a different snake plant back here which is growing really well so my, oops, sorry there I might have to move that one right violets quickly doing all right they're all starting to come into flower I'm even more convinced now this is a pattern on the leaf and not anything wrong with it because it's flowering it's got other flowers coming um so it seems to be doing well, although that's just dropped off. <laughs> but uh, hopefully they'll come right. And these, this is a really nice one, which has just started flowering. Um, really like that double one. Gorgeous red colour, deep, deep burgundy red. Um, what else have we got flowering? Got flowers coming on that one. This one's just coming into flower. Um, flowers at the back there. The white one's still going, and there's another repeat one of that there. And then the top shelf, got the purple ones. I got another, I got another one of those. There you go. I might give some away. And um, yeah, oh, I see the sun's trying to shine through, so that's good. 
so yeah, so they, they, they're doing all right. They're not exceptional. They're not, you know, I'm not going to be winning any prizes for any shows for them. Um, but I am, I am managing to keep them alive and um, keep them going. So, like I say, the winter's going to be my challenge because they only just seem to have recovered from last winter. So we'll just have to see how we go. It's all sent here to try and um, I shall give it a good try because I really like the violets and I do want to keep a nice collection. Okay, so that's all for now. So thank you for watching. Please like or dislike and subscribe and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye for now.